bro. Oh, maybe it is. <laughs> Why he brake checked me? What are you? What are you doing, man? Stop tailgating me! Wow, well over 80 miles an hour, creeping up on 100 miles an hour. You can see it just flying by these cars. And it is not only dangerous to those other drivers, but certainly dangerous to this motorcyclist. Uh, you know, these cars, the drivers don't know that it's coming up so fast. You can see, uh, wow, uh, that motorcyclist uh, appearing to kind of stand up there on the motorcycle there for a second. Uh, but, oh, my gosh. Oh, we have just seen... Um, sorry, we just saw that. 'all see that? Oh so apparently God. that guy who's stumbling right there running into his house is an off-duty police officer. This is down in Decatur, Alabama. And there's a man in that Jeep who apparently has, his plan for the day was to run someone over. Cuz that's exactly what he tried to do multiple times. Let's go to some details cuz this officer was identified in a court filing as Jack Brown. That is Robocop there. The video is from his home's doorbell camera. Police say that the incident began with Brown. The officer noticing a man approaching his vehicle at his home. I'm not going to say where he is, but you guys see it there. The man was later identified as 54 year old Gregory Martin Hill. According to the police, Hill sped away as Brown approached, hitting a car and a mailbox. Then Hill made his first attempt to run over Brown before hitting a tree. That's when you saw the Jeep run into the tree, and that's when the video started. Okay? Yeah. Brown again was struck by the vehicle and pushed across his yard. Of course, you guys saw that as well. And the warrant for Hill's arrest says he then backed up over Brown's legs. Despite being hit, Brown, along with the person who witnessed this entire incident, were able to subdue him. Other officers arrived on the scene and were able to place Hill under arrest. Police say that Brown was taken to Huntsville Hospital on the night of the incident and was released later that night. I want to recap, Rick. This guy had saw a car coming at his house or at him or his mailbox, something. Uh, he was looking to drop a, a sack of poop on the front and light it on fire. I don't know what the plan was, but he said, stop it. And instead, he tried to run him over. Then we saw the video start. There's, there's attempts to shoot, get on the ground. I was like, this guy's dead. He's going to shoot him seven times. He did not fire shots until the Jeep was coming right back at his face, which then again, I don't know how both of these guys have not been badly injured or have died from this entire altercation because his legs are run over. But my man came back out of the hospital like, what's for dinner tonight?
What's your name and badge number? If you have a contact, I'll give it to you. Otherwise, you can go away. Well, I don't to you. I'm going to sign and try to help out with these kids. You're doing great, man. When I have to pull out of here, you're going to be in the way. So I suggest that you get to one side or the other. You can go around me. Ah! Ah, he's on my f***ing foot! He's on my f***ing foot! What's your name? Hey, somebody call 911 for me. I need paramedics. Hey, you ran over me. What's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number? Yes, I will. At the corner of West Pratt and Payson Street, just before midnight Wednesday, the familiar sound of a dirt bike. Seconds later, a call for help from a Baltimore police officer. You made a up here. Someone just struck my vehicle. Again, bro! The dirt bike rider crashing into a marked Baltimore police vehicle with its blue lights activated. I'm covered in glass, but I'm okay. The rider's injuries unknown. The guy on the illegal dirt bike ran. Running away from the scene and leaving the dirt bike behind. Oh, God! We showed the video to residents. It left some in shock. It's discerning. I mean, it's very dangerous. It does concern me for the, for the drivers out there and also for the people who's riding the, the bike. While others had a different take. Lock their ass up. I'm being a lot. 